Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, hope all is well. Uh, let's see, it is day 198, Church in the Time of Quarantine. It is October 1st. Um, let's see what happened this day. 1553, Mary I uh, had her coronation. Mary I being Bloody Mary. Uh, yeah, she, I guess do you say coronated? She was coronated on the... Whatever happened. Anyway, she didn't last all that long. Uh, 1908, the Model T first went on sale for $825. I did a little research to see what $825, what kind of car that would buy you today. Uh, according to cars.com, you can get a 1990 Ford Ranger Super Cab with 375,000 miles on it for that price. They've lost the title, but I'm sure it's all on the up and up. And 1924, on this day, uh, Jimmy Carter was born. So, happy birthday, Jimmy. All right, no uh, no new announcements today. Let's go through trivia. Uh, I guess no Flintstones fans out there. We had no correct answers for the name of Fred. Well, I actually had no answers. So I guess I don't know if that makes them correct or incorrect or simultaneously correct and incorrect, uh, like Schrodinger's cat or something. But uh, Fred Flintstone's boss was uh, Mr. Slate. He ran the Slate Rock and Gravel Company. Okay, well, hopefully better luck with today's uh, trivia question. So on this day in 1890, this California home of El Capitan became a national park. So if you know the name of that national park, uh, send that on in. Okay, we got a reflection today from uh, Macarius is the guy's name, I believe. Yes, he was a um, one of the desert fathers in Egypt, 300s, uh, hermit, all that sort of stuff. So he says this, a king puts a poor man in charge of his treasury. The individual who receives this responsibility does not think that the wealth belongs to him. It remains the king's. Because he needs this job, he is careful to protect the royal treasury. He wastes nothing. He oversees it carefully. Anyone who has been given God's grace is in a similar situation. With humility, we can admit our poverty. We can understand that we have been given responsibility for something valuable by our king. If we begin to think of it as our own and become arrogant and proud, the king may take it away from us. We will remain spiritually poor. Remember then what God is doing for you. Let's continue to think through our illustration. What if the king finds a very sick poor person on the roads, roadside? He would be glad to treat his injuries and with the best medicines available. He might bring the person to his castle, dress him in royal clothing, and feed him at his own table. This is exactly the way Christ came to us, found us sick and healed us. He invites us to be companions at his table and does not twist our arms in order to force this upon us. He invites us with great dignity and appeal. Many have declined the offer. They refuse to come to Christ's banquet. All right, that's Macarius, and we'll end uh, proper four. O oh God, your never-failing providence sets in order all things, both in heaven and earth. Put away from us, we entreat you, all hurtful things. And give us those things which are profitable for us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All right, talk to you later.